hey guys welcome back to another new video and as i promised the new video will be out really quick so here it is by the way yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel because more than 98 percent of you are not subscribed and drop a like if this video helps well that being said let's do this okay first of all uh, you can just right click on your taskbar and go to task manager and in here you can check the graphs and you can go to memory and right now you can see the speed of my RAM is 3200 megahertz. It is because I have set my XMP profile to 1. When I bought the RAM, it was giving me around 2666 megahertz. How did I do it to 3200 megahertz? Let's see. Okay, uh, we will go to XMP profiling later on. But first, right click this PC, go to properties. And you will see advanced system settings. And advanced. You will see performance click settings and in here go to advanced again and under virtual memory click change so no need to touch the c drive i guess because i will just leave it system managed size by the way uh these are uneditable if you do not uncheck this so make sure you uncheck this and then go to your d drive you can do it for the c drive as well but i'm not doing it that's your choice go to your d drive and select custom size here you can go ahead and increase this size uh, since I have around 16 gigs of RAM whereas in your case you might be having 2GB, 4GB or 8GB so you can go ahead and increase the virtual RAM how exactly you need to open calculator for that and 1024 MB equals 1GB so suppose we need to increase the virtual memory to uh, 8GBs or 4GBs because more than that like some of you might be thinking if we can increase it then why not go to 16 32 or 64 but that's pointless because the more size you increase the more space it will eat from your disk so just keep it from 4 to 8 gbs uh, last time when i had my older pc i did increase it to 8 gbs but this time i don't really need to do it because i already got 16 gigs but for the sake of this video i'm gonna make it uh, 4 gbs so 4 into 1024 equals 4096 so let's put here 4096 and 4096 click set okay and okay and okay here as well uh, you might get a prompt to restart if it does then go ahead and restart it so you have increased your virtual memory and you can restart it to take effect when i bought the ram it stated 3200 megahertz as the clock frequency but when i put it in the rig I was only getting two triple six megahertz i'm not sure about ddr3 but ddr4 and ddr5 rams do have X xmp so just go ahead and restart your pc once the pc is being restarted go ahead and keep pressing delete escape f11 or f12 depending on your motherboard's manufacturer you can go ahead and google it for me it's delete so i will press delete and as soon as I press delete a few times, you can see I get the BIOS set. I get to the BIOS screen. The BIOS screen might look different in your case, depending on motherboard to motherboard. For me, you can see XMP profiling is on the top left corner already. But for some of you, the option might not be straight ahead. So just go to different settings and look for memory, memory options. And under memory options and memory settings, you will find XMP profiling. It will be disabled by default, so make sure to enable it and set XMP profile to 1. And once it is done, we'll just click save settings and you can exit BIOS. And when the PC boots, you can go ahead in task manager and have a look at the frequency. What XMP does is basically it increases the clock frequency from the lower level to the higher one that is advertised on the box. And in case XMP profiling is disabled, then your RAM does not support XMP profiling. No need to worry about that. You can just go ahead and do the virtual RAM thingy as I showed you. Okay, so well, that was it for today. And I guess this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to drop a like and you can just follow me on Instagram if you want. And see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.